I remember watching an old movie about the Salerno landings uh, in the Second World War that were not really unsuccessful. It wasn't a bungled operation. It was just, a, I think it was seen as an unnecessarily costly one in terms of human life and material lost and stuff like that. Robert Mitchum, I think, played the played an American journalist who was attached to the U.S. Army or embedded or something like this was following it. And he had some sort of to and fro towards the end of the movie with the commanding general of the U.S. Army, uh, of the U.S. Army that landed there, by the way. And he said, you know, I think, General, I think I understand what, uh, what this war thing is all about, to be perfectly honest. He says, I think we kill each other because we like to. It's, uh, it's not because we need to or these grand strategies and everything or grand issues that are at stake here in the Second World War, which the Second World War seems to be a pretty clear case that war is sometimes necessary, but he, you know, this is the Italian campaign, so the, you, know, you don't have the Nazi and Holocaust angle there. Um, and he said basically this war is just essentially an extension of our aggressive, aggressive nature. We do it because that's, we like to do it. That's why we fight wars. Um, and the general, the commanding general, who was about to get replaced uh, unjustly, unjustly because he knew in advance that he was being sent ashore in Salerno with um, insufficient uh, forces to do the job. And he, you know, he was sort of feeling rather bitter about it, or at least cynical, and he said, yeah, that's a hell of a condemnation of the human race, saying that we kill each other like this because we think it's fun. And I saw it quite a while ago. I guess I was in my teens or something like this. It's an older movie. Um, and I remember thinking, why is that a condemnation of the human race? <laughs> um, if we fight wars because we like to do it, is it in our nature to like to do it? Um, is it in our nature? Is it fundamental to being a human? To like violence? To like inflicting violence upon other creatures? Other beings? Other humans? Is it human for us to do that? Is that what humans are? Um, and I don't even mean half human, half beast or whatever. I'm just saying it's sort of inherent in being human is the, the violent impulse. Um, are we naturally sadistic? And if we are, is that something that we should be condemned for, as Robert Mitchum said, or the general said about Robert, Robert Mitchum's uh, judgment on the human race? You know, you, you look around in human society and you see an awful lot of evidence that we may or may not, or we may actually be sadistic. We may actually enjoy killing each other. We may actually enjoy causing each other harm. If that's in our nature, can we be condemned for it? Is, is that rational? It strikes me as a little bit irrational because uh, we can no longer be condemned for being, we're no more conde be condemned for what we are than a, uh, a rock can be condemned for being a rock. It just is what it is. There's very few things out there that are not what they are. <laughs> um, and I guess it's just, um, I don't know, it, it, it kind of puts the whole issue of suffering into perspective. It's, there's, there's no longer any, a system, a, a question of justice or the injustice of suffering. Um, it's just, okay, I'm suffering now because another human being inflicted pain upon me. Well, if it's in his nature to do that, I just happened to be in the way when he wanted to actually take a swing. Can I condemn him for that? Is the very fact that he has inflicted an act of violence upon me sufficient cause for me to pass judgment upon him. I know this flies in the face of all modern thinking, especially in the English-speaking world, but it's an interesting question when you think about it. We are what we are. Should we be condemned for that? Is it our fault that we are what we are? 